Hey, what's up? This is you, me and Groot chillin' and Groot's got no idea what is about to go down because I bought this set, the Lego Bird's Nest, for one purpose and one purpose only so that I could turn Groot's head into a bird nest and decorate it with baby chicks and spring flowers, yay! Okay, so he didn't hear that, so it's cool. This set is, um, it's such an affordable set. So there are 232 pieces, it's $20 in Australia, $12 in the US, and $100 million worth of cuteness once we put this stuff onto Groot. So it's got, I mean, the feature part of it is actually the mama bird and I don't quite know whether I'm going to be able to get this bigger bird ratio wise onto Groot but I am going to give it a red hot go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put it together first. I don't actually know if this is supposed to be a specific breed of like a specific type of bird. I know very little about birds except for cockatoos because they come and scrawk and yeah, really, really loudly early in the morning, as does the flock of crows that likes hanging out in the eucalyptus tree just outside the bedroom window. So lots and lots of noisy wildlife, but this is not either of those birds. So a bit stumped as to what bird this might be, but we got lovely grey, got orange foliage, there's white undercarriage, and these are the, oh, like the definition-y building out bits on the side for the feathers. This is one of the wings, I think. Yeah, this is, and I just like the fact that the wings are articulated enough that you can just kind of rest them out gently so she can be sitting over her eggs in the nest. Lovely, really lovely design. I mean, you look at it instantly, you know that this is a, this is a nesting mama bird. So this is the other side other side wing and then <laughs> once we put this on we're gonna go and see come on Groot come on let's see whether we can get you to yeah no problem two hands though two hands for the mama bird that is adorable all right but we haven't even made the chicks yet actually the next bag is the is the nest so let's do the nest I don't know how I could utilize the nest on Groot maybe if I modified his head a bit I could put the nest on the top and then the rest of his head coming out. No, I don't know that I'm talented enough to do that. So let's just build the nest as is and then just shove some baby chicks on Groot. That's my plan here. <laughs> but this nest is actually a really interesting little build. It is square, but it's a roundish square, so it doesn't look too square. This is the thing about Lego. Lego is blocks, but in recent years it's come so far that it's so ergonomic and fluid and looks organic and that was probably the word I was looking for rather than ergonomic but anyway so even though this is a whole heap of blocky squares and rectangles it's turned into something quite organic looking let's go with that all right so we have got a spinny bit on the top we're getting our twigs on around the side it's not even there's not even a lot of symmetry on this, which is really nice because it makes it much more interesting to build. Few flowers and just spring flowers going on here. We're gonna be pinching them and shoving them on Groot. You know, he's totally ready to be springified. Yeah, that's lovely. Spring and a springify Groot. Ha! <laughs> yeah, he's ready. So we've got, yeah, so we have these little holy bits on this side. We have them on the other side. We're going to be filling them with some more nice spring flowers, except this side gets a branchy twiggy bit extending out. So you've got a little bit of the tree, a little bit of the branchy tree bit actually that the nest is, that it's sitting on. The actual visualization of this is so sweet. So this goes on here and then we can angle that around just a little bit, but we do need some more springy twigs. So jumper stud in the nest and then this little configuration with the green with the pink with different shades of pink flowers on there we've got four of these and they just get interspersed here on the on the sticks and look how pretty that is and then you can angle it a bit and it just looks so charming doesn't it it just looks so nice right but we can't put any of this onto Groot but we're going to put the mama bird back here on the corner where she belongs where the twisty bit is right it's time to start building the chicks this is the whole reason we're here <laughs> I mean, Groot wants to hang out with the chicks. There's nothing more fun than little baby birds. So the chicks are the middle shade of orange, which is just so cute and vibrant. These are all just in spring colours. I think there are actually some Easter egg style eggs in this. I didn't look too hard. I was more excited by the chicks, but we'll find out as we keep going. So there's chicks taking some really cute form. This is its nice big oversized eyeball, which makes it extra adorable. One on either side and the eyeball, like the white of it's actually angling up a little bit up towards the mother bird hoping for a bit of a feed got the got the legs on and then we just need some little tiny stumpy wings so cute oh my gosh they're so cute 
<laughs> oh, okay. All right. But hang out here because we have a second chick to build, which is almost, almost the same, but just a little tiny bit different. So see if you notice the difference as we go along. Of course, I'm going to tell you as we get to it. It's this. This is the difference. Oh, we hadn't even raised it yet and I already gave it away. Got an open beak for this particular little, little chick. Eyeballs. I'm going to put the eyeballs facing upwards too because... Yeah, when you're a chick, food is life, and you've got to keep an eye out for the parents to come back and squawk the loudest. So you can actually put their little beaks in Yeah, Don't eat your sibling. <laughs> you know I'm going to put those back together again as soon as we're off the camera. Need a couple of little, little stumpy wings again for this chick. Just the same style as the other one, but this time we're going to angle them downwards. Why? Because the instructions said to do it that way. Oh, look, look, they're the same, but they're different. So cute. Now, there are actual eggs here to go, yeah, they are Easter egg -y kind of coloured. If any no self-respecting bird is going to have quite these colourful style eggs. I mean, I know birds do have colourful eggs. Some do, but not quite this colourful. So this is definitely an Easter kind of set. So let's get these guys where they're supposed to go as per the instructions. So one chick goes up here on here. The other one, the other one doesn't even get in the nest. But we do have to get all these little eggs into the nest. I think they're supposed to fit. If I just put these in on the wrong spot, no, that's good. And this fledgling is off, ready to leave the nest and off to go and hang out with Groot. Well, let's see if we can pop this in Groot's hand. This is our whole reason for being here. Oh my gosh, Groot looks so thrilled. Let's see if I can get the other one in his other hand. I really do. I just, I love the Groot build, by the way. I didn't do it on camera because actually my, my beautiful boy built Groot for me. But I just love, oh gosh, it's not very safe for these birds. His hands are very slippery. There are no actual exposed studs here to, <laughs> to put the chicks down on. I don't know whether this, I don't know how I'm going to get them to stay. We're going to have to angle this very, very carefully. Here we go. This one's staring Staring into Groot's face. This one's, there we go. I've got them balanced beautifully. Now... Now, oh, I touched it. That was that was a really big flaw. Now let's try putting the... <laughs> this bird's going to have the worst headache. Just stay on there already. Nope. Oh my goodness. It's just like... <laughs> yeah. I had a night. There we go. Okay. Stay there while I put the... <sighs> the other eggs up in Groot's head. Let's just put the eggs in and then, because I can seat them down on the top because there are exposed studs, and then, I know Groot, I know, no you look beautiful, let's fully decorate him for spring. There we go. How cute is this? <laughs> this is my whole point for getting this set and I am not sorry. I have, this turned out so, so cute, even though it is very, very precarious for those birds. They are just barely holding on by a thread or by a feather, but that's okay. Look, if they don't learn to fly really fast, they're going to fall and hit the ground a lot. All right. Okay. Let me know whether you think Groot needs some more accessories because gosh, I have so many ideas for where Groot can go and what he can do. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'll be back with another video really soon. <laughs> so I'll see you then. Bye.